Hello, bonjour, it's Laura here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw some alkenes. So we're going to draw Lewis structures, shorthand Lewis structures, and a formula for an alkene. Now the one that we've got here is 2-butene. So the first thing you need to do when you're um, drawing a Lewis structure is to figure out how many carbons there should be. So if we look at the name here, you see it, it starts with but. You should know that that means four carbons. If you don't know that the prefix but means four, you should go back and memorize your um, prefixes for organic compounds. Okay, so but means four, so I'm going to draw four carbons here. So one, two, three, four. Now, um, this is an ene. That means that it's got a double bond. Okay, so we know that we've got some single bonds and we've got a double bond in this structure. So the double bond is, means it's a double bond between two of the carbons. Now, do we know where to put it? Well, we don't yet, but if we look here, this two tells us that our double bond should start on carbon two. So what I wanna do is number my carbons. So this would be carbon one, this would be carbon two, this would be three, this would be four. So my double bond is starting on carbon two. That's what that name indicates. So I will draw a double bond between carbon two and three. And then that means that the bonds between carbon one and two and between three and four are single bonds. Okay, so I can erase these um, numbers now that I've been using. And the next thing we need to do, same as what we did with the alkanes, we need to fill in all of the hydrogens. And remember, what we want to do is make sure that all of the carbons have four bonds. Because remember, carbon ha always has four bonds. So we'll count how many bonds it already has and then fill it in with hydrogens. So if we look at the first carbon here, it's got one bond already, so it needs three more. And we'll fill that in with hydrogens. So one, two, three and we'll fill that in with hydrogens. Now this carbon here that has a double bond, it already has one, two, three bonds. So we only need one more hydrogen to give it its full four. Now we look at the next carbon here. It's got one, two, three already, so it just needs one more hydrogen. And then the last carbon needs three. Okay, now does it matter where we draw these hydrogens? Uh, no, it doesn't. We could, we could draw them at the top of the carbons. We could draw them at the bottom of the carbons. Um, when you get into more advanced um, organic chemistry, you will find that uh, you do need to, to draw them in one side or the other. So either the carbons are going to be on both sides, or sorry, the hydrogens are going to be on both sides of the double bond, or there's one of the carbons will have it one way and the other carbon will have the hydrogen going the other way. But for the class that we're doing now, we don't care about that, so you can draw the hydrogens on either side of the carbon. Okay, so that is the Lewis structure for the 2-butene. Now we want to draw the shorthand Lewis structure. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'll keep the full Lewis structure there so that we can refer to it. And then we've got some space here to draw our shorthand. Okay, so it's the same with the, al, um, the, the original alkane that we drew. We're going to draw the carbon and then we'll collapse the hydrogens. So we've got three hydrogens, so we'll draw hydrogen and then the subscript three to indicate that there's three hydrogens around this carbon. Okay, so what we've, 
what we've written here, CH3, that's the short form for this Lewis structure of a carbon with the three hydrogens um, sticking out from it. Okay, so now we'll do this one here. So that's going to be CH now. Okay, and then we can draw our double bond. And then again a C, and then I, I didn't switch my H color here for the last one, but there's my H, or my hydrogen, and I'll just make that hydrogen clear as well. Okay, so that Lewis structure now is short form as CH. And then the last carbon has three hydrogens. So we draw the th subscript 3 there. So that's the shorthand for 2-butene. Okay, so now we need to draw the formula. So the formula, remember all we do with that is we've, we've just got the, the symbols for the elements and then we need to say how many we have of each one. So we've got carbon, how many do we have? Well, if you look at that shorthand, we've got four carbons. So we draw subscript four beside the C. And then for the H, how many hydrogens do we have? We have eight. So we put eight as a subscript beside the hydrogen. And then the formula for the two butene would be C4H8. And then we're done. So that's um, drawing two butene. So we've got the full Lewis structure, the shorthand Lewis structure, and then the formula. Well done, McGwitch.